when people tell me my mother is looking down on me or my grandmother is looking down on me, I don't believe that. And to be quite honest, that would be very disturbing. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Side note, sidebar. Okay. Um, have y'all ever really thought about like if your mother and father and grandmother was really looking down on you? You know, I'm not trying to be funny, but that would be very strange. Like, I don't want my grandmother to see some man bending me over my kitchen counter. I'm just saying. Like, I don't know if I would want my mom and definitely my grandmother to um, watch me giving somebody a blowjob. You know what I mean? I don't, I don't know. That, that, that would be very weird. Hey, y'all. I am the Sovereign Woman. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, so, I got quite a few requests um, over the last few weeks. Um, it's been about a month or so since I've done a video. I did a video and um, I was talking about the spiritual aspects of why I don't want to have children. And I mentioned it in the video and um, I told the viewers and subscribers if they wanted me to go more in depth, uh, that you know, to leave the comment below. Um, of that video and they did and I've been getting requests since then and it's been I think about a month or pretty much close to a month um, or somewhere around there um, I got another one this morning so I was like let me go ahead and just you know talk about the spiritual aspects I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible because this can literally uh, go on for like days I can have this conversation um, so first and foremost, let me start out by saying um, my personal views and beliefs um, should not be taken personally. Um, the last thing I want to do is offend people and offend their beliefs. Uh, I will do that if people come for me. <laughs> but, you know, I'm petty, right? But I try not to um, offend people because I understand why people have their beliefs. I know people's beliefs are very important to them and it helps them to navigate uh, the world, right? We all have our beliefs and our systems that we use to help us navigate the world. So I try to be very respectful of that. Um, so I just wanted to say that first before, you know, I get into all of this. Now, first and foremost, um, there is a lot of reasons, a lot of spiritual reasons, I would say that I don't want to have children. I'm just going to tap on my three top reasons in this video, um, the ones that really stand out to me the most uh, as to why I've decided a child-free life, okay? So I wanna start out by saying I am not religious, okay? I know this is probably gonna be very upsetting to some people. Um, some of you guys are gonna be mad. Some of y'all might unsubscribe and say, oh, I can't listen to this. Um, that's fine, you have every right to do that, but I am not religious. I grew up religious. Um, I grew up Christian. I pick on the Christian religion a lot because I grew up Christian and I can I can like pick on y'all if I want to, right? Um, but when I got old enough to think for myself, I walked away from religion, okay? Um, before I completely walked away though, I dabbled into many different religions because I just wanted to see what else was out there. Um, I, the, the, the Catholics, uh, the Mormons, uh, the, uh, the Hindu God, um, Judaism, Jainism, um, what else? Uh, the nation of, the nation of Islam as far as like, the, I guess the black Muslims, right? And then the um, actual, you know, the Muslim religion in general, uh, I just dabbled. And for me, each religion that I read about was not for me more so than the last one that I read about. So I was like, yeah. So by the time I hit my late mid to late teens and early 20s, I was just pretty much over religion. I was like, I don't, subscribe to any of this and as an adult now when i think back to that i just as a woman i cannot for the life of me understand why 
a lot of women still subscribe to the very religion that was made to oppress you, right? It was made to oppress women. We're the givers of life, but we're considered second class citizens or, you know, we're supposed to be help meets and we're supposed to basically dim our light and be a slave to men, basically. And I'm not going to ever subscribe to a religion that will dim my light in that way. So that was another major reason why. Um, I also found out that there were probably somewhere around 3,000 different gods that had the exact same backstory as Jesus that, that like um, existed way before Jesus was said to have been born. Um, you know, you just find out all this stuff when you read history. And for me, it was just a no-go. I was just like, okay, I don't believe any of this. I'm not trying to tell you guys what to believe or what not to believe. I'm just saying that for me, I walked away from all of the religious stuff. I just don't resonate with it. The only religion that I can say jives with me and, and, and my personality and my beliefs, my, my core systems and all of that, I would have to say Buddhism. Now, there are some people that see Buddhism as a religion. And then there are some people who see it as a life's philosophy. I'm one of the ones who sees it as a life philosophy. Okay. Um, it's not a religion to me because Buddhism, and I started studying Buddhism when I was about 16. Um, the Buddha was a normal person. Like Buddha was not a God. He never claimed to be a God. He wasn't born again or died three days or was re resurrected three days later and was born of a virgin. It was none of that. He was a normal human being. I think he, if I remember correctly, he came from a uh, affluent family, um, but he watched people suffer and he just was interested in finding out how to make humans not suffer. That was it. And, you know, he would come up with these, you know, the Four Noble Truths and the Art of Detachment, things of that nature, things that make us suffer as humans, right? So that was it. That resonated with me more. And so you, you hear these, these um, life sayings and mottos like, you know, let it go. And um, if you hang on to pain, you're only hurting yourself and things of that nature. I'm not going to get into it, but... You know, that's the only thing that resonated with me at that time and to this very day. I meditate and all of that. Um, and some people think that's evil, but meditating is just sitting there and quieting your mind. That's literally it. Whenever I have questions about the world or about life that I want answered, um, I sit by myself on my little Zafu. And I have my Tibetan singing bowl and I go through... I'm sitting there like this and I'm just quieting my mind and um, the answers come to me, whatever it is, you know, I'll, I'm trying to figure out what to do next about something or whatever. And I'll sit there and you know how you just sometimes have an epiphany of something. It just hits you randomly out of nowhere. That's typically what happens to me when I'm driving or when I'm cooking or whatever. But when I meditate, like that is really when, you know, it really hits me. Nothing evil about it. It's just sitting quietly in a room by yourself and just, checking your thoughts you know what i mean checking them at the door that's pretty much that's that's all it is people think it's evil it's not okay um i i i really implore people to educate themselves on stuff before you make assumptions about what you think it is or what the world told you it meant go read for yourself okay you will find that a lot of stuff that you've been told have been lies so um now i said all of that to say the whole be fruitful and multiply thing doesn't doesn't apply to me, okay? I don't believe in any of that stuff. So if you want to be fruitful and multiply, you should have a, have a kid, have two kids, have 50 kids. I personally, that's, that doesn't apply to me. I'm not going to be doing that, okay? Um, I also said that to say, I don't believe that we have a, a uh, this divine purpose I don't believe that. I think our purpose on li in life is what we say it is, individually. Whatever you decide your purpose is, is your purpose. Um, I, so this whole notion about everybody is here for a reason and you have to figure out what that is. I don't know if I completely agree with that. I'm not saying that I disagree, but 
it's just not something that I follow, right? I think everybody, we're here and you should, you should absolutely make the best of your life. But I don't think that there is some person in the sky telling you what you need to do. And there's a divine purpose for, you know, the reason why kids are born and, and they're killed in car accidents. And there's a reason for that. And, you know, your five-year-old niece was essayed by her uncle when he was babysitting. And there's a reason for that. Like, I don't believe that. I just think people, humans just do shit. They, you know, people just do things. Um, I, I would never understand what the reason for that would be, especially if the child dies or something happens to children um, as a result of somebody essaying them or murdering them or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know how that, would, like, why that would be, there would be a purpose to that. And many people will go to their graves never learning or understanding why something happened. So if you're never going to, because people will say things like, Oh, well, maybe it's not meant for you to know. There's a lot of things we don't understand. And so my thing is, if that's true, then why the fuck should we care about it happening? Or why? Do you know what I mean? I don't get... If we're never going to know why something happened, we're going to go to our graves before we know why something happened. I don't see the point in doing that. I don't get it. So I don't follow that. It just doesn't make sense to me, right? Um. So I don't think there's a divine purpose. Therefore, there is no spiritual reason for me to bring kids here. Because... You guys have to understand that I understand the kind of world we live in, right? I'm not delusional. I don't walk around in delusional land. I don't deal in idealism in my life. I really have never, that, that's just not the way my brain is wired. I live in reality. I look at what's happening. I also know that a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times, the best predictor of future uh, events and behavior is past events and behavior. I already see in my mind where the world is headed. Nowhere good. Um, as long as males are in charge, as long as patriarchy is running things, they're running this planet right into the ground. So, you know, that, that, that brings me to, we were born, we live however long we're going to live, and then we die. And then it's a continued cycle. Your kids, born, live, die. Their 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 kids, born, live, die. Right? It is a continued cycle of born, being born, living however long you're going to live, and then dying. I know that sounds morbid to people. People don't want to face the fact that we die and... A lot of people believe in afterlives and, 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 you know, reincarnations and all that. I don't believe in any of that. I think once we, we die, we're, we're worm food and that's it. Is there a heaven for the snakes and the fucking cats and dogs that get hit by cars? The, the, the animals that die in the wild, is there a heaven for them? We're mammals. We're, we're going to die. Um, unless someone who has died went to the ground and I'm not, I'm not talking about you died in the hospital and they brought you back no i ain't talking about that kind of died i'm talking about you went into the ground you decomposed you became a skeleton and then you turned around and you came back and said hey yeah there is a god yeah there is a devil yeah there is heavens and hells and yes there's an afterlife there's all these things until that happens i have no reason to believe that until we've seen me personally until i've seen proof of that in some way shape or form there is no reason for me to believe that anything happens after we die i think we're gone i and, you know i don't want to sound morbid and mean when people tell me my mother is looking down on me or my grandmother is looking down on me i don't believe that and to be quite honest that would be very disturbing you know what i mean like <laughs> yeah. side note sidebar okay um have y'all ever really thought about like if your mother and father and grandmother was really looking down on you you know i'm not trying to be funny but that would be very strong like i don't want my grandmother to see some man bending me over my kitchen counter i'm just saying like i don't know if i would want my mom and definitely my grandmother to um watch me giving somebody a blowjob you know what i mean i don't that, that that would be very weird because there's no way they will be looking down on you and then their eyes are just closed to all the bad things that are happening 
right? If they died and then their best friend started dating their husband like two days later, they would see that as well. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you would see that your son is truly a pedophile, you know, or you would see all sorts of stuff. You won't just see the good. You won't just be looking down to protect them from car accidents or anything, right? They would, they would be seeing everything. Stay tuned for part two.